So, hallo, äh, wir sind hier auf der Hannover Messe zusammen mit Harem von Bambulab. Ähm, Harem kann viele Sachen wahnsinnig gut, aber er ist besser auf Englisch als auf Deutsch. <lacht> äh, deswegen werden wir das Gespräch auf Englisch führen. Ähm, genau, jetzt ganz neu der H2D und um den soll es heute geben. Harem, uh, the H2D, what has not changed with the H2D printer? Compared to the other printers, you mean? Yeah. Um, I think the screen maybe is the same as on the X1 series, even though I even doubt about that, to be honest. But for the rest, the printer has really been built up from scratch again and everything is new and improved. Yep. Yeah. Let's go a little bit through the features. I think you made a really large uh, improvement with H2D. Um, maybe from my side, interesting is it's the same reliability as with all the X1 series and P1 series printers. And uh, now we have a complete new build volume, mm -hmm. but also a complete new reliability. Can you explain a little bit about the new feature set of H2D? Yeah, there are really many new features in, in the H2D. Um, uh, varying from multiple cameras like a nozzle camera uh, to detect nozzle clumping or air printing, um, an improved live view camera which has a much higher feed rate, frame rate, sorry, uh, than the previous ones, uh, an optional bird view camera which can be installed for example for the laser or the cutter modules, um, but yeah for me the, the, the I think you already touched it in the beginning. The, the, the main feature for me is that this impressive printer, because I think people will start to realize what this printer is capable of when they start using it. Yeah. Um, but the most important part is that it is still so user-friendly. Um, you just put it, pull it out of the box with two people, because it is quite heavy. <laughs> uh, then you power it on and you can print. Uh, it, it is super easy. Um, we see some nozzle changes happening on the, on the background and of course this is a very important feature that we now have two nozzles which makes it very easy to uh, print in uh, multiple colors or multi-material. Mm -hmm. uh, for example to print your support material in another material than your main print without losing time and without having waste which is yeah, quite a big improvement in my opinion. Yeah, can you explain a little bit how the new dual hot end system works? What does it mean? Do I need multiple I AMS and how does the filament route through the printer? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we have two hot ends. We have um, um, one extruder with two entries. Um, and what can happen is that you, for example, use one AMS. Yeah. can be the new AMS uh, Pro, can also be the normal AMS, doesn't matter. And you can use a side spool. So you don't need multiple AMS units. Okay. You can also use the side spool. The extruder will still pull the filament in. Um, of course, you can also connect two AMS units, one for the left extruder, one for the right extruder. Then the filament will be lo loaded in the, uh, in the extruder and the inactive extruder will uh, retract at the moment that it is not in use. There will be a flow stopper blocking any uh, excessive flow and the um, extruder which, uh, sorry, hot end which needs to be used will start printing like it does now probably. Um, then when the change is happening, the, um, the nozzle will wipe. Uh, so there is still a wipe tower just to remove any excessive filament from the tip of the nozzle. Mm -hmm. Then it will park, so the nozzle uh, flow blocker will be under it. The other uh, hot end will lower, and it will start. Uh, it will continue to print. Yeah, that's in a nutshell how it uh, how it works. That's really great information. So what I saw when we lifted it out in our office out of the box was it is a tremendous build quality. Can you explain a little bit what materials are used, what, what are the outstanding parts in the printer, what really makes the reliability go such on a such new level? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, 
the materials used in the printer depend a little bit on the model you choose because for this model you have the glass doors for example when you go for the laser model uh, it will all be with, with, with acrylic with plexiglass um, so the outer shell can uh, the product in the outer shell can depend a little bit depending on the model but for the rest in the interior we've got steel we've got very high quality uh, um, uh, plastics we've got um, glass top plate of course er uh, every time but you can also see a lot of structural improvements in the printer to uh, work with its large size but still maintain the high speed for example those metal parts frame parts in the back and on the sides mm -hmm. to yeah. remain the rigidity of the, of the of the thing everybody was quite impressed by those parts in the office they said oh this is really built quality on yep. a whole new level with this amazing large metal part inside the printer. The, the thing is what I yeah, believe we stand for as Bamboo Lab is uh, we just we don't just want to print fast. Yeah. It has to be good. We yeah. want good quality prints. And everybody has been asking for a larger build volume since the X1 series came out. Uh, and we said from the beginning it is not like just scaling the build plate. A lot more has to happen and all these things which are inter implemented in this printer were needed to be able to print high speed with high quality. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's what we are really aiming for. Yep. And what we saw is there are not only the big features, the new build plate, the new build volume, the dual hot end system, the laser module, but also the small features, which really amazes everyone, like the nozzle, uh, uh, the nozzle covering, mm -hmm. the, the um, new filter system, the flaps opening to cool everything. Can you go through the small features a little bit? And there are really many uh, small features. I mean, the, the complete new structure of um, uh, wiping the hot end, for example. Yeah. Uh, it is much better than any system we had before and it works great uh, because it does a, yeah, a dual uh, nozzle wiping actually. Um, there are features that people don't even see but when they are using the printer they are like aha for example the fact that the uh, base of the printer is the same height of the door so if there is any debris from now on you can just wipe it out. Oh. instead of having the hassle of getting all yeah. the filament uh, residue uh, from the printer. Uh, the camera, which is, yeah, even though the specs seem the same, the image, is, image quality is a lot better. Uh, the air filtration, um, for example, when you start printing a high temp filament, the uh, shutters on the back will close and there will be an internal filtration only. Um, which yeah, also is something to improve the heating of the chamber, for example. So there are very many small things which will make a big impact. Yeah, yeah. let's talk about AMS. Mm -hmm. So AMS 2 Pro, so two uh, new additions. Yeah. So what is AMS 2 Pro and maybe what is AMS HT? Yeah. AMS 2 Pro is uh, the version 2 of the AMS and we went pro uh, no. um, so what we can do now is we can not just heat the filament but we can dry the filament yeah meaning that there is a uh, drying functionality building in the printer for the moment only when the print uh, when the AMS is not in use uh, meaning if you have a multi AMS setup uh, what will happen is uh, that if you have a uh, AMS which is not in the printing process you can use it to dry but if the AMS is in the printing process you cannot use the drying function. The drying function is not just heating the drying function is really drying because it will uh, pull in air and it will exhaust the moisture air so it is really active drying. Uh, aside from that the spools will auto rotate during the drying process to make sure that yeah. there is an even distribution of the heat. The AMS 2 Pro will heat up to 65 degrees, which is okay for your normal filaments. The HMS HT, uh, high temperature, uh, is a single uh, module uh, AMS, a single spool AMS, and it will go up to 85 degrees. 
Um, you can start the drawing process from the screen of the printer. Um, important to know is that the AMS HD is not a standalone dryer. So it has to be hooked onto the printer and it has to be controlled by the printer. That's something people do need to realize. Cool. Let's talk about lasers. So, so far we only talked about the amazing new printing capabilities, but it's not only a printer anymore. Can no. you s explain me a little bit why yeah, it's we, a manufacturing we, hub? Yeah, we see it as your personal manufacturer hub. Huh? Uh, th this is what the H2D uh, stands for uh, and what we aim for. So the goal is to make it possible for uh, people to have uh, to use one machine for multiple purposes. Uh, like you said, of course, it can 3D print, which is our main, by far our main feature. Um, but you can also either buy or upgrade to a uh, laser model, uh, which will incorporate a laser module, either 10 watts or 40 watts, uh, and a uh, digital cutter. Uh, so a, a cutting knife uh, which you can attach to the tool head. With the cutting knife you can uh, cut uh, uh, different materials, but you can also in, uh, install a, a pen draw tool to make pen drawings, writings, uh, new, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, so actually it is a four-in-one machine from now on. Yep. That's really great. Can you explain a little what materials are we able to cut with a drag knife? And with the laser module, 10 watt and 40 watts. Yeah, um, I don't know exactly which materials can already be, uh, be, be cut, but for example, uh, PU leather can be cut, um, uh, craft paper, 200 grams, normal paper, of course, vinyl stickers, um, uh, reflective stickers. Uh, so if you print a part and you want to put reflective parts on it, you can cut them out and then uh, stick it in them on and stuff like that. For the laser, uh, for example, you can uh, cut plywood, uh, different materials. With the 10 watt, you can go to uh, three millimeters and with the 40 watt, you can go to 15 millimeters. Oh, wow, um, that's really can, thick. Yeah, you can cut um, acrylics. Yeah, m multiple pur uh, purposes. You can, of course, not only cut, but you can also engrave. Oh. Uh, so it is, yeah, multiple options as what you would use with a standalone laser module. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit about the two different versions? So the AMS version and the full laser version of the printer. Mm -hmm. The full laser, yeah. So if we check this one, it has the normal door. Uh, Normal side panels, meaning normal, which are a little bit, uh, yeah, not 100% translucent, but a little bit dimmed. Uh, but the uh, laser version will have acrylic uh, plates in them, which are green, to block out any laser lights. The laser version will have a uh, emergency button, which you connect on the right side of the printer, um, to have an emergency stop if something goes wrong. Um, also important is that um, there are four uh, flame detection sensors built in, in the printer. Oh, wow. So if there is any emergency, the printer, uh, if there is any fire, the printer will detect it. What it will do is it will um, close itself. So it will make sure that the exhaust will be closed so that no fire will exit the printer through the exhaust and the um, yeah, fire can be contaminated inside. At a later stage, there will even be a optional fire extinguish system, which can be connected to the printer. Um, yeah, in case anything would uh, would happen there. So yeah, multiple additional features when you have the H2D L, uh, which is the laser version. Also, the laser version has a uh, air pump, an air assist pump installed. Uh, which blows uh, high pressure air on the laser part during lasering uh, to clean and cool the part which is being lasered. If you upgrade from one model to the other, all the parts are interchangeable, meaning that you can change the door, the side panels. The air assist pump will be a unit which has to be uh, externally built 
instead of being built in the printer when you buy the H2 DL. Yeah. Cool. Really nice overview about the new H2D and H2DL. We really appreciate your work and all the work that the Bamboo Lab team in Shenzhen has done. And uh, yeah, thank you for having us and uh, joining us here at Hannover Messe. Most welcome. Thank you.